<clears throat> Hello guys, my name is Philip, and today I want to talk about relapses and people's obsession about it. And uh, this is a question that I get a lot, and it's funny because it's probably the weirdest question I get, yet one of the most common questions I get. So it's a weird question that's very common that I get asked, which is, hey, if I relapse, should I start over again? And <laughs> I think that's sort of weird because it's sort of um, assuming that NoFap is like a sort of game and that you're asking me, well, hey, if I game over, do I start from last save? Or do I restart from the beginning? Well, metaphorically, uh, you would start over from last save. But let me explain, okay. Uh, first off, you can, compare, you can compare masturbating twice a day with masturbating once every 20 days. And you'll, straight away you'll see that you have made tremendous progress. And there's no, there's no starting over from that. There's no, you know, starting from the bottom when you've come that far. If you... Okay, so it goes a bit like this, right? Hold on. You... Okay, so this is like you masturbating twice a day, right? This is you not masturbating for 20 days. Then relapsing. Then you... Okay, you're not even that far down. You're like here, maybe, right? You don't go all the way down here, because... You have just released one batch of semen, right? So how, how semen retention sort of works is that, you know, um, because people always talk about semen retention, and they're really like obsessed about it. People are really obsessed about semen retention. And I think there's a general idea that if you as much as just release some semen, you've lost the game. You have to start from the bottom again, you know? You have to start over again. Ah, I relapsed, right? But, but here's the thing about semen retention. It, you, you're not actually taking the semen and, and now there's like semen running around in your veins. That's not really how it works. The way it works is that usually, right, semen has a lot of nutrition. It has a lot of vitamins, minerals, and protein. And so when you fap all the time, uh, you're releasing that so that when you eat protein and minerals and vitamins, that goes to your balls before it goes to your to your the rest of your body. So, and a lot of thing, a lot of people who ha do not do no fap have this like delusion that if you don't masturbate, your balls just keep growing and they grow to the size of coconuts in the end. That's not really how it works. They they grow to a certain size, and when they're done growing, the uh, the nutrition that you eat are no longer going to your semen, but it goes to the rest of your body. <laughs> because your balls don't need that anymore. The balls don't need nutrition anymore because they're filled with semen. So let's say that you have retained your semen for 20 days. And there's been all these minerals and all this protein and all these vitamins that will usually go to your balls, have gone to the rest of your body for 20 days. That means that you have actually uh, grown to be much healthier through those 20 days. And yes, when you relapse, you sort of start over in the sense that the next time you eat, some of that nutrition is probably going to go to your balls because you've emptied it out, right? But you've still, you've still gotten all these benefits. Uh, these uh, physiological benefits from the semen retention through those 20 days and they're just they're not just gonna go away you don't fap once and then suddenly your skin is gonna have a shitload of zits and your muscles are gonna go weak and all that that just d doesn't happen just after one time of masturbating so yes you've slowed the progress down but you haven't destroyed the progress You've just slowed it down. However, if you binge, you'll sort of 
uh, destroy that progress because you you um, but then then there's not really the semen retention thing then there's the more of the um, reward circuitry and all that that's going on when you start binging because then you're rewarding yourself with dopamine and, and delta fos b as I talked about in one of my older videos um, you keep rewarding yourself even though you don't really deserve it that is you know you're, you're getting instant gratification from pornography but that's binging right if you fab once and you can actually uh, resist the urge of the chaser effect I think that shows tremendous strength I think that's actually a good progress rather than a downfall and also nofab isn't a game it's, it's really all about self-improvement and there's another thing uh, when it comes to that that I wanna talk about as well and it's people always try to define a relapse there's so many fabstronauts on YouTube who have this like what is a relapse video and in my opinion about that is it's kind of subjective really what a relapse is and let me explain that for example if you have a drug addiction let's say for example you're addicted to Adderall and you're doing nofap to cut that addiction because you've read on the nofap subreddit or wh wherever you have read it uh, which by the way is true that um, once you stop masturbating it's easier to overcome other addictions as well so let's say you're actually doing nofap to cut your Adderall addiction for example then you take Adderall you're not masturbating but you're taking Adderall isn't that a relapse? see you didn't masturbate but you took Adderall and the reason the reason you stopped masturbating wasn't really just to stop masturbating it was to cut your Adderall addiction then you take Adderall and let's say you even binge let's say you start you know getting back to this lifestyle when you take you know Adderall several times every weekend and you go, you go all to all these parties and you get seriously fucked up on speed all the time you start binging right then that's and you didn't masturbate you didn't masturbate through all of that even once I'd say that's still a relapse because it's a downfall you've given in to a temptation you've given in to uh, the chaser effect you know and all that and I've said this before and I don't I don't think it can be said enough really that, that the problem isn't porn it problem isn't masturbation those are manifestations of the problems the problems are you know well the problem in singular is pretty much it's instant gratification it's it's hedonistic activities and it's it's um how should I say it's it's the accessibility of instant pleasure that can be addictive and when it gets addictive and when you get addicted to it it will ruin your life let's say you're sort of a moderate person I guess and you're just sort of like ah yeah you know you gotta release every now and then I mean I, I'll not watch porn because I know that's kind of fucked up but I'll just you know fap once every two weeks then for that person fapping once every two weeks isn't relapsing and I feel like there's so many people who have this sort of mentality that hey you gotta do no fab hard mode or else you're not part of the club or else you're not hardcore enough you gotta retain all of your semen and even if you have a girlfriend you should not fuck that girlfriend or you should practice this uh, Caressa or whatever it's called or else you're just you're, you're not part of the no fab club right and I, I, I don't like that I really don't like that because I think I think that every single person who has this idea or this not really idea because it's not really subjective at this point it's it's um, who, this um, who know everyone who know who knows that um, that porn is damaging that binge fapping is damaging we should all just be on the same team because that's what it's about it's, a, it's all about spreading awareness about the damage of pornography and binging and instant gratification and those things. 
it's not really about how like how hardcore can you get like how far can you go without releasing a single drop of semen that's not really what it's, this thing is about it's about spreading awareness because let's not forget porn claims lives man like people get seriously depressed because of pornography addiction and they are committing suicide so i think instead of just being so fucking selfish to do have this like nofap thing as if it's some sort of thing to brag about how many days you've gone or, or if you're doing hardcore mode or not or hard mode i don't know it, it don't fucking go there because that's not what it's about it's about spreading awareness and just spreading the message about the damage of pornography and the addiction in general because that's what it's about it's it's about addiction man you gotta get rid of addiction and uh, pornography addiction is an addiction just like any other addiction it's damaging uh, it makes you value everyday pleasures less uh, it, it ruins your life pleasure it ruins your energy levels it, it makes you depressed it just fucks you up right so uh, so no the problem is addiction the problem is instant gratification problem is you know the accessibility of um, the accessibility of, of pleasure and um, being unaware that it's there and being unaware of its potential damage so yeah if you if you say you're on a 25 day streak right and you relapsed and you're like shit shit I just released some semen. You know, don't don't freak out like that. It, it's it's okay. You just gotta not binge. That's really important. Don't binge, right? Don't give in to the chaser effect. And just start over, and just keep going. Keep your head high, right? Don't look down. Look up. Look ahead. And just go. Because you masturbated once every 25 days. Most people can't fucking do that. Right? So you should be proud of that. And don't be so fucking obsessed about these relapses. That's not really what it's about. And I used to have that mentality too. I used to have that mentality when I was back in like... Back in the days when I used to relapse myself. I also had that mentality. And every time I relapsed I was like, Shit! I just did it! Fuck! Why can I not keep myself together? And... <laughs> it's not until I sort of reach a really high streak that I am on now that I look back on that and I think fuck man that's I was still making progress back then why would I freak out like I was still making progress back then I was still making tremendous progress back then and and I think everyone who has been abstaining from pornography and been abstaining from from masturbation for as long as just you know a week or so they should be proud about it. it most people can't do it and you're still making progress that being said though I would also say that not masturbating at all is the best idea, right? Like, I I wouldn't say that, you know, no fab. Uh, I wouldn't go too far the other way and say that, you know, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong about relapsing and it's just, you shouldn't think about it at all. And uh, that's not what I'm saying. It's, you know, a relapse is a relapse, you know, but... I'm just saying that don't fucking freak out because it's not it's not that big of a deal. It's not like you've you've died or anything. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I have to say about relapses. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more. Thank you guys for watching.